Oh. <laughs> Aloha and welcome to Betty's Real Estate Corner brought to you by Sakamoto Properties where prestige is our business, reputation our foundation. And I love Hawaii. I love every time we do the show and I actually have Danny Couch's move, music in my car. I love it. And what a fabulous song written by Danny Couch and on that sung by Danny Couch. Just pretty fabulous. Today in the studio is Mitch Mitchell. Uh, he's been with Sock Motor Properties, we believe, for 30 years or pushing it. I keep adding on. Mitch probably tries to take a year off here and there, but it, uh, fortunately, I've got him here in the studio. We're going to try to come up with some things going on in the community, talk about some of our listings, maybe fill you in a little more information on financing and why it's time for you to be buying real estate. Mr. Mitchell. Aloha, Betty, and thank you for inviting me again. Um, it's a great day to be in Hawaii. It's, great to, it's a great day to be anywhere, I guess. It is. <laughs> and you know, from the standpoint of Maui, right now we got a little bit of fog going on. So aren't we the complainers? We have such perfect weather here. Everything is really great. Uh, obviously, the east coast of our country is snowed in just about. So it's really some pretty serious weather still going on. So I kind of like we don't have to shovel the fog. I am very happy. We do not <laughs> need to shovel the fog, and we aren't freezing. We can get in and out of our cars. There's no ice no black ice, no anything. So we're really doing pretty good. So a couple of things, Mitch. I mean, maybe first of all, I'm gonna remind everyone how to reach us. For any of your real estate needs, call us, Sakamoto Properties, at 808-669-0070. Check us out at sakamotoproperties.com. Find us on Twitter at Maui Sakamoto. And for connecting with us, use hashtag Betty Maui Radio. So it's easy to find us and uh, give us a call with any questions and we'll do our best to help you or we'll find the answers for you pretty quickly. Uh, we aren't taking call-ins to the show just because it's only a half hour and by the time we get started, it's less than that. So we're thinking what we've been doing is people call us, fax us, email us, and uh, we will answer any question that we have, show you property, help you find your dream home. Hey, Mitch, Betty, hey, Betty, they could tweet you. They could tweet us. Rather than calling in, just tweet you, and we'll try and get, uh, get you an answer. Tweet us, and we will tweet you. <laughs> Mitch, you wanted to talk a little bit about the, um, the walk run coming up that I believe, I always forget exactly who's running it and what happens, but I know it helps a lot of our very important charities, in particular for us, Holly Makua, but um, give us a story on it, the rundown on the walk run and when it's happening. Um, Betty, it's the visitors, the annual visitors charity walk, uh, visitor industry charity walk, and it's one of the largest fundraisers here on Maui, and actually the great thing is that uh, we keep um, getting more volunteers and more uh, donations than even the whole island of Oahu. Maui has, for several years now, really outdone Oahu. So it's really kind of exciting. And this year it's going to be May 10th. So those of you that are out there on my uh, list, you'll be getting my request for your support for my walking the, the 5K uh, May 10th. And it will be I will be collecting or soliciting for Holly Makua Health Services, as I have every year. And uh, if you don't uh, want to send it to me, send it to anybody or come out and walk in the charity walk. It's a lot of fun. All the hotels, it's the visitor industry, so all the major hotels serve us great breakfast afterwards. And uh, last year, uh, we had entertainment and then all the awards as to who's raised the most money, what organization. Anyway, it's a great Saturday morning. A lot of fun, get out, get some walking in, camaraderie, and uh, it's great to see the kids and adults and everybody getting together and having just really a fun day. And again, remember, we here on in Maui County outra have outraised 
Oahu for several years now. So it's obviously really it's an island, I mean island, it's all the islands are involved in this. Yes, it's the whole state mm -hmm. thing, but each island has their own walk, Betty, and yes. so we uh, find a lot, of, a lot of fun in that. One thing that's been kind of interesting, for many years in a row, Mitch, who's sitting here with me, is the one who had the top amount of money raised, which then there's there's some special things that happen, but you know, call us, call Mitch, and he can fill you in or direct you to someone if you want to walk, or he may have another number in a second, I'll ask him if he's got something, because you should really check it out. I think it's really a lot of fun, but last year, I don't want to mention this, but Mitch was not the leader. Somebody beat him. So there's become, it's going to be really aggressive this year to be the top fundraiser. So we're all figuring that we're going to up the ante, whatever we're giving Mitch. So if you guys are doing fundraising and you're trying to beat Mitch Mitchell and be the top fundraiser, you're going to have to work pretty hard this year because we're out to win. Well, thank you, Betty. You're on the record now for raising your I'm, her donation. I'm, raising I'm okay with it. And you know, Betty, don't tell anybody, but it's, it is kind of satisfying that somebody outbeats me. That means they're really out there hard working for all of our charities also. And so it's really great to see that. I, I really agree, Mitch. But it is fun now to kind of get it going again just because that's what everybody's doing. Everybody's just trying to raise money. We all know that the government in the last few years is not going, and continuing, is not going to be able to fill all of the needs of our community. So there's so many things that are taken care of this way. You know, it's going to be our our seniors and sometimes schools and uh, everything. You know, children. There's so many different charities that are, are are receiving money from this that it really is great. And the county, the state, the federal government can't keep it up. So as a community, we really need to be taking care of these things. So think about it. And um, again, if if you don't know how to do it or you can't find it online somewhere, call Mitch and ask him. 870 is his cell phone, 870-5548. So I'd love to get you call. hooked up uh, and even get you to come out and walk. There's uh, a lot of different hotels and a lot of different charities, and all the money stays here in Maui for our charities. That really makes a big difference. So again, keep, keep in mind our office number, you could also reach Mitch at 808-669-0070. Find us on Twitter, Maui Sakamoto. Connect using hashtag Betty Maui Radio. SakamotoProperties.com. Mitch, yes. we were talking about a couple of a couple of interesting things going on at Pineapple Hill. We, you know, this is Kapalua, Kapalua's Homes, which is kind of the upper end of our market. But we currently have a couple of homes under contract, one that was listed at 4.9 million and one that was listed at 3.5 million. On the way over here, we are talking about a particular listing that I'm gonna ask Mitch to give you the particulars on. An amazing house, so we just driving over, we said, God, why haven't we sold that one yet? Not sure why, but it's easy to view so if it's something you've been interested in, give us a call and we'll see to it that you get in to see it. Or if you have your own real estate agent, get them to call us. So if you've been thinking house and you're in that general range, but tell us a little about that house, Mitch, because I think it really is a great value. Betty, the land is just uh, that it sits on is just under half acre and it's a 3,700 square foot house. Three bedroom, convertible into four, Fantastic sunset views looking towards Lanai and, and Molokai. It's real close to the famous um, Kapalua Bay golf course. It's a wonderful house. It's uh, done with, it was built with loving care and picking out the granite in the kitchen. And, and the family just really built it for them to use as a family and enjoy. Unfortunately, the kids are grown, they're married, having their own kids, so. They really can't bring the whole family out here as much anymore. And so they're deciding they need to kind of downsize. Plus, I think they found cruising to be their their new way of life. So they do want to sell, and it's very easy to view. So if you're thinking about having a house with a great sunset view, nice courtyards, swimming pool, jacuzzi, please give us a call, and we'll be more than happy to get you in to view it. That's Sakamoto Properties, 870-5548.
Okay, and kind of just glancing at our listings, Mitch, you know, we can help you with anything in the Board of Realtors. And if you, you know, at, at our Board of Realtors site, um, so if you take a look at sacramentoproperties.com, it will get you into the Board of Realtors. You can locate any property you're interested in and give us a call. In our office, we have listings right now for homes starting at 785 and going up to $20 million. So we really do handle a broad spectrum of properties. You know, we have land listings right now that start at 695 at Lani Keha and going up to lots at, um, we have a great Kula property listed at $16 million, which is 30, almost 3,300 acres. So really we've got the really a broad spectrum of properties that are listed in our office and we can be available to show them to you with, in many cases, very short notice. Betty, real close to that Kula property you were talking about, we also have a, a three bedroom, two bath home listed at 785. It's got great bike still views. It's really done really well, great taste. Everybody, that, I can't believe we haven't gotten an offer in it, on it yet, but. Everybody's looking at it. Everybody's looking at it, and they all just love it. You know, it's uh, got some great views, and the house is really cute. It's really done very tastefully. It's a great home, and I think you're right. It is funny how we'll have this. We have so many showings of this property, 1266 Lower Chemo Drive. Everybody's looking at it, it seems like, two or three of the people that would love to be buying that still have another property they've got to get sold, but they're kind of hanging in there. But our guess is someone in the next week or so is going to hop on board because you you just aren't finding properties like that under 800000 So really a great property. You know, it's about just a little less than 1,600 square feet. It's got an unattached uh, two-car garage and uh, landscape just really well. I think uh, it's really easy f for you to view, so uh, give me a call. Yeah, but that's, a, that's one worthwhile. Now, there's a lot of different properties. So if you give us a call, we can see to it that you get to see other comparable properties. But that's, a, that's one I think value-wise is really great. In West Maui, we've got a couple of properties listed between 800 and, let's say, a million dollars. You know, they have a couple of them have Ohana's. Just again, really, really, really worthwhile now getting out there, getting a look at the market, finding out what's happening. And part of the key for me, and I'm sure you're thinking the same, Mitch, is the interest rates are so great. So anyone that we're talking about looking right now to buy a property, if you can get the interest rates that you've got today, and I believe the prices are fabulous, you can probably qualify for something that you don't even realize you could qualify for. So it's time to talk to us. We'll hook you up with a couple of lenders if you want or give you the encouragement to talk to your own lender. Uh, if, if the place has a legal ohana, that is part of your qualifying process. You know, So you will get credit for what it takes from the standpoint of income that would come on the ohana. So we can help you get through and possibly surprise you at buying a house that will be your home for the next 10, 20, 30 years or longer. You know, Betty, the one there in Lahaina on Ala Moana Street, which is really close to the Jodo Mission, easy walking distance in the evening to have the restaurants in Lahaina. Baby Beach. And Baby Beach. And mm -hmm. it's just really a nice little neighborhood. And it has a legal ohana, so you can have, uh, when, the, when mom wants to come over, you can put her in a different room or you can rent it out and have a little income to help you along the way. It's a great little house, great neighborhood, easy walking, easy shopping. It's, it's quite a nice place. One of the things I like there, for a lot of us, if we bought that property, I think we'd end up having the Ohana be an office, you know, so that when we're working at home, I mean, it's very simple. You know, the weather's always perfect in Ohana, almost always perfect. And it's really a great property, but I think to have a property like that, it's listed under a million dollars, it's in great shape, it's a newer community. But again, you can walk anywhere from there. You have an ohana, which can be kept for your family. You could, you know, just rent it long term. But I think it's, it's a 
fabulous, fabulous place. Ala Moana Street, close to Baby Beach, and like Mitch said, if you want to go out and take a walk down Front Street at night or anywhere that you want to go in Lahaina, it's so fun to be walking around Lahaina. Any other properties you've got, Mitch? Aina Peha, I think, is still a great listing. Listed at 874, four bedrooms, three baths. They kind of have a, a couple of different things that they work on that property. So I think, again, one that we could show you almost any time and I think would be, it, it'll be really a great one. We, we have an open house there every so often, so give us a call. 808-870-7062. Oh! 808 8669 0070. Oh, Betty, the other one was your cell phone. I so know. And that's that. fine to you. No, and I just, I, but it's easier for us <laughs> if you check in the office because that way there's almost always someone available. So that's the 808 669 0070. Another reminder I'd like to make, Betty, is that we have various. Um, condominiums at Kapalua. So if you're looking to have a rental or maybe have it if you live up country and you want to get a rental on the west side so you can come down and have staycations and then still rent it out the rest of the time to help make the payments and so forth, we've got Golf Bay and Ridge Villas that uh, give us a call and we'll find out some way for you to get down to uh, look at them. You know, another West Maui condominium project, Keep a Village. We have two of those listed. One of them, which was two bedrooms, one and a half baths, is currently under contract in escrow. It, uh, the other one that we have at Keepa is a three bedroom, two bath, substantially larger, listed at 659, but really vaulted ceilings, an amazing place, great little neighborhood there. You know, a lot of children. This one has new air conditioning in the living room, new ceiling fans, new washer dryer, and a new skylight. But again, great home, you know, for somebody looking for a home on Maui. This is listed at 659 and I think easy place to live. The people who are buying Keepa Village will be the other one, the smaller one, will be living there. They have a child and they know so many people there in the neighborhood. So I think again, it's great, great place to be living and raising your family. Super neighborhood. So Kapalua again, Mitch. We're going through, we've got, like we said, the condominiums that are there. One of the things in a couple of these different neighborhoods, and let's for the moment say Kapalua. Kapalua has every resort amenity that you could even begin to want. There's two championship golf courses. There's 10 tennis courts there at the Kapalua Tennis Gardens that are really in an amazing garden setting. A couple of the properties uh, have their own tennis courts. We even have a listing, a home up at the plantation that has its own tennis court also. But you've got to come out there. People are out there walking every day. Do you, don't you love the remodel they did at the Honolulu store where the doors open and people are just flooding out and walking. There's more places for people to sit and chat and hang out. I always love when doors open when I walk up to them. I'm tired of having them locked. No, I mean, no. Um, it's a great remodel that kept the old taste of the plantation and uh, the service is great. A lot of the same people that, you know, have worked there for years. That uh, Ironwood down there, 102, right on the corner, that's a beautiful, beautiful. Well, that shifted us quickly back to condominiums. <laughs> it's a major condominium, the Ironwoods, and that is one of the ones that has a tennis court uh, two tennis courts, fabulous pool there, big workout gathering room, and uh, this condo is pretty amazing. We have two listings in there, one that's a two, or well they're both actually three bedrooms, three baths, just pretty fabulous places. The one that you're mentioning, Mitch, totally, totally, that was the, I call it the million dollar remodel, and it's a fabulous, fabulous place. You know, they've lowered the annual maintenance fee in that complex. That's how well it's being run and being kept up. I've never heard of very many places that will actually lower the monthly maintenance fee. Yeah, they've got a great manager there. They've got a great um, board of directors. People really work with one another. Probably the advantage is that there's there were a total of 40 units. Uh, two of them were combined, so it's down to in a way 39 owners really, again, great people that all work together. It's primarily 
owner, well, it's second homes. So there's probably only one owner occupant there that's there all of the time. But a lot of second homes there, people that keep them and use them for their families. A little hard, it's definitely not a rental property. You know, it's more of the second home type thing. But we can, again, get you all of the information on it if you're looking for a second home here on Maui. So I think that is um, a second home. Or if you're gonna move over here, you couldn't find a better place to live. Great people, like you were kind of saying, Mitch, great neighborhood, great owners, great pool. It's got it all, got it all. And at Kapalua, just walking around there every day, don't you think the people that are having coffee at the Honolulu store, et cetera, Yes, there's several coffee clutches there in the morning, so you can pick one that kind of fits. You know, Betty, right now we have another thing going on here at Maui. It's called the Plein Air Invitational. It's the annual one. We have artists from all across the country, as well as some of our well-known local artists. So you people out there, when you're driving by and you see some artists uh, along the road trying to capture some of the Maui beauty, um, you'll know what they are. And on Friday at 6 o'clock, we're having the gala down at the Village Gallery in Lahaina, where you get to meet all the artists and possibly purchase one of their great works of art this week. That is an annual event that's gotten better and better every year. I, I keep saying, you know, plein air, what does that mean? Well, I guess it really means that the artists are going to be painting in plain air. They're going to be outside. They're not doing this like taking a photograph back to their studio. They're actually outside somewhere painting. And right now it's been a little hard for them because <laughs> we've had a bit of bog going on. But again, I think they will capture it and they'll figure it out. And we've seen every day something seems to break and we'll get some great blue skies or maybe they're just going to have to put a little blue sky in with their imagination. But if you've been thinking some artwork, this is a great opportunity to buy something, to meet some artists that are here in Maui. And a lot of, again, like Mitch was saying, a lot of Maui artists and a lot of artists from the mainland that come here to love Maui and to enjoy the moment, but also paint you know, some of their best work. You know, Mitch, you may have noticed that we have had the two minute warning. Uh, oh, now we're at two minutes. So we're going to have to start closing down and come up with some reasons to, to get you to give us a call about some of this. But do it. Just call us. We've got a great office staff. We will have someone available to work with you. We'll hook you up with lenders. We will see to it that we can make your purchase very easy. And again, 808-669-0070. Um, SakamotoProperties.com, you can look at our properties, our listings, and every other listing in the Board of Realtors. And people are telling us that our website, which is done by my computer from Wailuku, is very easy to follow. You know, so a lot of people I've learned that are even working with other realtors have found our website and use it as a way to get in and out of the Board of Realtors listings. So check that out. Find us on Twitter at Maui Sakamoto and connect with us using hashtag Betty Maui Radio. Betty, there's one more thing I wanted to quickly get in. You know, we do have five rentals, vacation rentals, that uh, are available, and you can get them on our website. You know, when the in-laws are coming over, you don't want them staying with you, give us a call. Good, yeah, that's a great one. We've always done that ourselves, you know, when we have someone, we'll find a vacation rental, get someone in a hotel, or we happen to have these special vacation rentals that we'll use when we have too many visitors around. But again, call us, 808-669-0070. Check us out at SakamotoProperties.com. And pretty quickly, Danny Couch is coming back with I Love Hawaii. Aloha. And I do love Hawaii. <laughs> Aloha. 